Mega is probably the most scary race in the world. A lot of people race down a glacier and then they keep going for all over 45 minutes, so pretty gnarly. My name is Colby Pastori. I am the field marketing and event manager for Camelback. I live in Petaluma, California, where uh, the Camelback headquarters is based. Mega Avalanche for me, especially coming from the US, is just a super iconic mountain bike event. It's something that uh, I've seen online for years, ever since I first got into mountain biking. For me to come here and do that as my first ever event in Europe is extremely special and hard to not have a smile on my face coming down the mountain, even just from the first practice run. Uh, I've known Colby for a long time now because he, he's always been involved with Santa Cruz and so since I was racing for Santa Cruz I've seen him at events, parties and um, now I'm lucky enough to work with him and, and spend a week riding bikes in the Alps so it's a, a great opportunity. The riding I did with Yago helped me a tremendous amount. Uh, just being able to see someone who competes at these type of events uh, at an international level, to see the, the lines they're taking and the thought process that goes into was extremely helpful and I think was able to help me be a little more successful in my final event. I've been trying to like tell myself what things I would like to know when I first raced it. And it's been interesting seeing Colby. Colby's been doing pretty good. He's a really good rider, and it's good to give tips to somebody and see how they like improve or do better in something. Like, uh, it's been pretty good. Yeah. Epic days, man. Uh, so we're up here at the top of qualifying right now. It's considerably colder uh, up here than it is at the bottom right now. Wait around for about 20 minutes for the start and shed this jacket and get ready to go. So uh, it's pretty pretty foggy, which is gonna make it kind of hard to see at the start, but uh, about two minutes into the race, we're back into the sun and it warms up pretty quick. The qualifying run was something that I was definitely a little bit nervous about um, at, at the beginning. It being such a short run at about 16 to 20 minutes, depending on, on where you finish, um, I knew it was going to be uh, a battle. And uh, since it didn't start in the snow, the pace was going to be a little harder and you'd have to fight for that. Fortunately, I was able to get a, a front row start and I kept it um, pretty under control and, and didn't go too crazy. But unfortunately, I got a little sloppy going into the 12th or so place um, and then ended up having to ride it flat down the rest of the 12 or so minutes of the track. Um, so I ended up about 60th, which unfortunately didn't qualify me for uh, the pro finals on uh, Sunday. But I was able to get into the mega challenger, uh, which happened on Saturday. There's a lot of little things. I think one of the big ones is never let go your bike. If you crash in the glacier, it'll be really hard to get back to your bike because you'll start sliding and the bike will stay where you crashed. The best thing is to be very open-minded around the race and uh, ready for anything. Try to be as relaxed as possible and improvise. Improvise a lot. Here at the top of the glacier, 
Uh, yesterday's race didn't go quite as planned, so uh, being the challenger today. Um, you know, all the big boys get to race tomorrow, so today should be pretty good though. My race run was awesome. It was an unreal experience uh, being on top of the glacier and seeing the amazing views. And I mean, today we were able to uh, race through the entire snow section. I was able to sneak ahead and get into the front group and just kind of control my own pace and not really have to battle with anyone. We made it down the entire mountain with no major crashes or mechanical issues. So I'm, I'm super excited to have completed an entire run on the Mega Avalanche course. Post-race, uh, it's crazy. It doesn't even feel like it happened today. It, it went by so quick. It was kind of mixed emotions. There were sections of it that were really scary, sections of it that were slightly miserable, um, just because it's high elevation and you're working super hard, but um, they're racing and there's just amazing view and you're in, in the Alps. The, the feeling when you cross that finish line of success and satisfaction is absolutely amazing.